Hi everyone, this is Josh with TechZone UK and we're finally getting along really well with creating our WordPress website. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is, uh, if you've been following the series, you'll notice that I mentioned to you that when we visit the pages like About, you can see at the top of our URL bar we've given the page question mark page ID equals 2. Now what we really want is that we want people to be able to go to our website by typing in ourwebsite.com forward slash about forward slash tutorials forward slash YouTube forward slash forum whatever you want so we're gonna basically uh, set it up so that we can do that now what it's called that what I'm talking about is something called permalinks and this is easily done and it's only gonna take a couple of minutes for me to show you how it works so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to head to our dashboard so if you don't if you can't remember how you do it all we do is go to our local host as it's hosted on our own machine uh, local uh, host and what we do is we type in slash wp hyphen admin uh, to visit our website so basically your domain or your local host or whatever forward slash wp admin and that will allow you to log in so visit your dashboard and uh, on the left hand side uh, if we just uh, say we go back to our home page here uh, we click on dashboard uh, what we can do is under settings you can see something called permalinks so I just put my cursor over settings, dragged it across and went down to permalinks, click on permalinks and you can see here we now have some options so by default WordPress uses URL which have question marks and a lot of numbers in them however WordPress offers you the ability to create custom URL structure for your permalinks and archives this can be uh, this can be uh, this can improve the aesthetics uh, usability and forward compatibility of your links and it also uh, includes um, it increases your SEO which is your search engine optimization now what we want to do is what I like to have is just post name because it means that people can go to our website for slash the page and that's pretty much it however if you want to have a more um, um, categorized view you could have something like name and month for example if you're updating your blog regularly you could have it so that it shows you in 2014 uh, on the second uh, yeah, that's either the, um, that's the month so the second month so February and then the post name so you could categorize your um, uh, website that way or you could have um, a custom method of day and name so you can have your website 2014 and then the second month 14th day uh, and then um, uh, sample post which would be your post name I like like I said I like going with post name just because it's short and sweet and people like being able to visit your website via those pages and it also stops your URL bar from coming up to here and people not being able to copy your um, URL to send to people and share online it's just in my opinion the shorter um, URL the, the better so once you clicked on post name and click on save changes you'll notice that if we go back to about and click on home when the page refreshes when we click on um, you'll see when we click about you'll notice that the title is still sample page from earlier however I'll show you how to fix that in a minute but if we click on tutorials you'll see that the page name is localhost forward slash tutorials which is great that's exactly what we wanted now you'll notice that before when we created our about page we actually based it off of the sample page uh, template so it's given it the URL name of sample page so how do we change that back well what we do is we go back to our dashboard and then what we do is we go to pages and then all pages and then we go to the about page and click edit and then there's a, a tag at the top here called permalink and all we do is we simply click on we can that as we click on edit and then all we do is we type in about if I can get my keyboard uh, keys right click on about click OK and then click on update and you'll see now that if we go and refresh the page it will say that we can't find the content because sample page doesn't exist anymore so if we just type in uh, about it then takes us to our about page so now we have home which is just localhost about which is localhost forward slash about and tutorials which is localhost forward slash tutorials so we're finally getting there on creating our website
So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can lay out widgets. So we've obviously had a look at widgets on the home page uh, before, so we learned a drag and dropping them here and editing the content. But I'm also going to show you how we can edit widgets on the right hand side of our pages, which you saw a second ago. Uh, we have our search widget, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. And having the meta one can sometimes leave people to be able to wander onto the site admin page, guess your username and password, and things like that. So it's just things we don't really want. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these and we're going to organize these in a way that we want. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you want to see more from my WordPress series, then by all means hit that subscribe button as I really do appreciate it. And if you've got any questions uh, during this video, then uh, please do um, drop a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you um, on, on what your problem is. Um, and if I can't, I'll recommend you to go to the WordPress forum. So uh, like I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.